I found Clone High when I was about 10 years old. I watched some YouTuber talk about it, so I went and found it, and I bought every episode for $2, which back when I was like 10 years old was like 20 bucks, but that was a lot of money to me, you know? That was like, what, two weeks? I, I didn't even get an allowance. I don't even know how I got that money, but I spent it, and I got it, and that ever since that moment of watching all those episodes in one night, it has been one of my favorite animated shows ever. I've rewatched it numerous times in numerous ages, and every time I feel as if I gained something different. This show is through and through just so solid and entertaining, and that's why it breaks my heart every time I get to the end and I see it's just, it's just over. Of course, Clone High was canceled for the Gandhi controversy, which if you do not know, Gandhi's character was offensive to a lot of people of India because he was a big party animal on the show, but in real life he was supposed to be level-headed and, and, you know, just a calm guy. So it was offensive, and they would set up a hunger strike out of the MTV offices in India, and they would also lock the workers inside till the show was canceled, which it clearly was not long from that. Now fast forward to present day, over 20 years later, and Clone High has been rebooted due to numerous, numerous people asking and creating uproar about it, and this is great, but is it good? I mean, the characters were frozen for 20 years, uh, but now there's new clones, and it, it's a lot going on, and that's what I'm talking about right now. And it's all right. It's okay. Currently, only two episodes are out, and I, I don't hate them, but I am a bit disappointed. This all boils down to one main reason, but I'll, I'll talk about it in a second. Let's get the side stuff out of the way. Let's get the sides out of the way before we get to our main meal. The obvious is that the new character designs, while fun, are just not very good. They're, they're, they're very... Ugh, they're they're weird and no i'm not going to complain about oh my god they aren't historically accurate because that's that's the point is that they aren't they're supposed to resemble the current year of 2023 they're supposed to be crazy but god are they just they're they're even just not very great for total drama island standards they do have charm i don't completely hate them but i think that's just me liking the clone high style but it just could have clearly been better they're super colorful and and weird like they contrast so poorly compared to the compared to the originals. I know that's the point, but it does in a way I just I just dislike. The original show also had elements of a show that was made when it was, but it wasn't like, oh, we're in I believe it's 2003. It's like, oh, we're in 2003, we're in 2003. Like it had 2003 elements and 2003 celebrities, but it wasn't like, oh, pushing we're in 2003. This show is completely centered around being in 2023 with things like being canceled and TikTok and it, it's just so so corny and they just i don't know it's meta is not the word but it feels like like dude i don't want to think about this stuff i want to watch the show and get immersed in the show not immersed in in tiktok i spend enough time on tiktok but now let me get to the main issue there is just too many characters jesus there's too many in the original we had five abe cleo jfk joan and gandhi Abe was a main character, Joan was a main character, and the other three were co-main, basically, and it worked great. There was just enough time for everyone to get their spotlight and grow, and so much is done from episode one to the last episode for each character. And we also got to see side, like, like background characters talk and get, like, get moments, and we got to get a little attached to them, and they became some fan favorites, and it's just, let's look at the new show. Now, looking at it, we have eight main characters, it seems. Cleo, Abe, Confucius, Topher Bus, Harriet Tubman, Frida Kahlo, Joan, and JFK. I almost got a little, uh, lost breath from reading out all those names. That's a lot for 30 minute episodes with about, what, probably 10 episodes? That's, that's a lot. In the original, we saw each character at least once for a significant moment and episode, and, and it doesn't seem like we're getting that here anymore. And I mean, sure, like, you have 10 episodes, you have plenty of time, but in these two episodes, I mean, I didn't see much. I mean, look at Cleo. She has been in two scenes and neither did anything, and she's a very significant character. Uh, some characters are right in your face while others are being pushed to the side, and the dynamics being created are also just, just boring compared to the original, and I feel like they're not building up to anything. I mean, I have no interest in JFK and Confucius, or Topher and Abe. I mean, I get it, these are the building, building block episodes, but to build these characters together, they're just seeing it done, I don't like it. It's hectic, it's odd, it's like, I don't... I just don't like the characters bonding together. Like, in the original, we didn't need to see Gandhi and JFK. Like, sure, they had an interaction, but they didn't need to be bonding like this. Like, it just, it just doesn't feel, it doesn't even feel right. It's, it's weird. I feel like they bite off more than they can chew. I mean, there's some good stuff like Joan, Harry, and Frida bonding and getting Joan's secret out. But I'm, I'm just worried they can't do that much substantial stuff this season. 
or really like I don't know there's still a lot of characters along with these new characters being so one note and just just even the old ones not being nearly as good I mean I get it it's not fair to compare the show to the original but you you just have to I mean I get it the original characters aren't like these deep perfect characters here or in the original season but these new ones are just so boring and plain. I mean, Frida and Harry are pretty much the same person. No need to be two characters right there. But you know, like, I I don't know, man. You know, I could be going on and on. But I'll just make another video updating how I feel once the season concludes. But it just isn't the same. There's a certain charm missing. There's a certain meta to it that I don't like. And just, I don't know. But while I did complain, and while there is a lot of issues with this show so far... It is still enjoyable and still clone high. Maybe this like bubble of nostalgia will eventually leave me and it just won't like it anymore. But it's alright. It is a clear downgrade, but I hope they pick it up. I seriously hope they pick it up. I didn't want to go into this hating it. I thought I'd love it. And those first like five minutes I really did love, even though it wasn't very great. And then it like started to wear off a little bit. And yeah, I don't know. Oh my god. I just realized I forgot Scudsworth, uh, Candy, and Mr. Butlertron. That's not eight characters. That's uh that's what 11 okay yeah no this show has a problem i'm right yeah i don't know i don't know how they're going to create everything here i don't know how they're going to do it but i don't know all the best to clone high hope it picks it up i really want it to be great i really do love the original and i want to love this one and i want the series to last for years and years and years but i don't know man it's going to be difficult don't like it so far there's a lot of issues but i don't know in the end at least it's more clone high but you know what Subscribe so I can tell my parents I'm not a total disappointment. Peace.